Hi everybody, today we're going to go over uh, quickly how to reset uh, your stroke control and your linkage system on a 50 ton iron worker. Um, if you have a machine and your stroke uh, is ever off, if your shear doesn't come all the way down or your punch doesn't enter your die, you've called in and, and uh, we've determined that you've got to reset your stroke. Uh, this is a, a quick video of how to do that. First of all, I've taken the back shroud off of the machine you want to be able to have access to the cylinder. This is how we measure our distance on our stroke um, up and down is right here on the cylinder. Over here on the left side of the machine, this is what we call our customer stroke handle. Okay, down below we have identical handles. They're not handles, they're bolts. You'll see one right here. That's your lower, we call that a factory setting. And then right up at the top, there's also a bolt. That's also the factory setting. Now what we're going to do today is reset our stroke, we're going to measure it, we're going to adjust these factory settings to where this machine can only go to those points where you have enough stroke to shear and punch, but you don't go too far as to overload your machine and cause some damage. So when we start things off today, as you can see right up here in the middle of our customer handles, this is our stroke limit. This is uh, where we tell where our cylinder is as far as in the stroke. We want that right in the middle. We call that the neutral zone, okay? So wherever this is, before we start this, move your machine and shut it off when that shoulder bolt gets to the middle, okay? We're at that point right now. We are going to go ahead and raise our customer stroke handles up, the bottom one up about an inch, the top one down about an inch. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to uh, measure our cylinder and move it accordingly without ever bottoming it out, okay? So once we get to that point, we're going to go ahead and turn the machine on. We've got it in the shear position. Our cylinder comes up. Now we can make a measurement. On a 50-ton turret, which is what this is, when our cylinder is completely extended, we are looking for a measurement of 23 and an eighth from the bottom of our pivot pin to the middle of our grease zerk on our shear beam. If I take the tape measure, put it at the center of the bottom pin, come up to the middle of the grease zerk, and right now I'm at about 22 and 15 16 to the middle of that grease zerk. So I need to come up uh, almost 3 sixteenths of an inch, but that's good. We haven't overstroked our cylinder yet. It's always better to be under than over when you're starting out. So we're going to go back to the front of the machine. Okay, so we come back here to the front of the machine to the lower customer stroke control handle, and we know that we need the cylinder to travel another 3 sixteenths of an inch. So what we're going to do is take the middle bolt, take the pressure off of this handle. Just pick up on your handle. It's got a neutral position. <coughs> now we're going to lower that approximately 3 sixteenths of an inch. Retighten. And bring the shoulder bolt back down to it. Once it gets to that point, we've got to go to the rear of the machine and measure again. Okay, now the measurement that we're looking for is 23 and an eighth to the middle of the grease zerk. And the 23 of an eighth is in the grease zerk. It may not be exactly in the middle, but that is close enough. So, now we go back to the front. We have to go down to our factory stroke setting. As you can see in here, okay, I'm going to loosen this 17 millimeter bolt. I'm going to pick it up to our shoulder bolt stop here. Come all the way up to the top, tighten. It's hitting our shoulder bolt. Now we will, we will be able to uh, loosen our factory handle and our shoulder bolt will stay in place. And our top measurement has now been set. So you will always, it's normal to have a gap there, you'll always have that gap. 
because we have tightened our factory stop on the bottom. That shoulder bolt can no longer come down any further. Now we're going to do the same thing for the top. Bring our shoulder bolt up. Come back here and take our measurement. Now the measurement that we're looking for here with the cylinder down is 17 and 3 8. Okay, and you can see that we're uh, a little over 18 and a half. So we need to let that uh, cylinder come down almost an inch, or a little over an inch, actually. Go back to the front. We're going to take the pressure off of our handle, put our shoulder bolt in the middle, and we're going to raise this a little over an inch. Once you got it where you want it, go ahead and raise your shoulder bolt back up. Come back and take a measurement. Again, we're looking at 17 and 3 eighths on a 50 ton turret machine. Okay, we are just under 17 and a half, but we still need to come a little bit further to get to that 17 and 3 eighths right in the middle of the greaser. But we're close. Go ahead and take the pressure off. We're going to let it travel just a hair more. Retighten and check our measurements. We still need to come about a sixteenth of an inch. Sometimes this will take you two or three times, sometimes you get it in the first shot. Go back, remeasure. Okay, we got 17 and 3 eighths. It's in the grease dirt. May not be exactly dead center, but we're actually a little bit too far. But we're talking about a 32nd of an inch here, which will not make any difference. We are good. We're going to go set our factory stop and be done. So we go up to the top bolt. You can see there is a gap there. We need to loosen that and bring that down to our shoulder bolt. Okay, I've got that tight. Now I should be able to loosen this handle. The shoulder bolt stays. I'm just going to double check. Tighten my factory settings up one more time. And now your factory setting and your stroke is reset and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website, www.scotchmans.com. If you have any uh, problems, you can post them on there. Maybe we'll make a video for you. Thank you.